hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching y'all thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it let's get to it First, I want to say, happy Friday, y'all. Um, have a beautiful, wonderful day. I appreciate you all. Um, appreciate the donations that's been coming in. Thank you all so much, okay? Um, it's Mother's Day weekend, y'all. So, I hope everyone enjoy themselves and be safe. Um, don't forget that, you know, people are still getting sick out here. So, make sure that... You know, you all are wearing your masks and stuff. Because I know a lot of people are going to be out trying to go out to eat and all of this stuff. But I do want to, you know, send out a little warning that, you know, the positivity rate is going up again, y'all. So be careful in enclosed places because there are still, you know, things going on with that, okay? So be safe, y'all, okay? You know, just because you get stuck don't mean that... You cannot still get sick because you can, okay? Um, it depends on the person and their underlying issues. And that's another thing I'm going to make another video about because I want to talk about some health things. So I'm going to make another video about that today. Do a little um, up-to-date video on, you know, some underlying issues and stuff like that and things you can take to help, you know, with those things. So I'm going to do another video on that too. And I'm going to also add asthma in there because uh, a lot of people have is dealing with asthma. So I'm going to uh, put in some things that will help with that if it, their asthma is like really, really bad. Okay. Because my little sister's asthma was really, really bad. And I, you know, came across some stuff that I want to talk about too. So I'm going to get to that as well on the next video. Um, now I want to talk about this female again. Jaya, Jaya, she did an interview yesterday. I think it was yesterday, the day before yesterday. I don't know, but I just ran across the video. She did a video. I'm not gonna say who she did the video on what page. She did it on because I'm not helping him advertise his page because he's very disrespectful. And I, you know, it's a difference between men doing interviews with people and women doing interviews with people. I think women are better interviewers than men because. They tend to, you know, think, you know, downstairs more than they do upstairs with that. And um, when they just do one interview, they just act like they believe everything somebody tells them. And they look over the fact that, you know, things don't look right on those pictures. Okay. And they just automatically, you know, throw up a de defense and ready to, to defend somebody. It's one thing to have an interview with somebody. But then when you go to other people's pages. And you're disrespecting them in the comment section. Just because you did an interview with somebody. You know. Um, you're not a good interviewer. And you don't ask questions that need to be asked. You let you know people. Other people ask the questions. So that means that he's you know. He could care less. About what happens to Dolph or happened to Dolph, okay? And I noticed that, you know, when she got up to move around to um, go get some wine, as she say, you know, I noticed how he made the screen bigger so you can see her better. You know, it was just things that he did that just showed you that, you know, he wasn't really about interviewing this woman, okay? So, um, let's get to what she was saying, y'all, because there's a lot of stuff that stood out what she was saying okay now number one she started off with you know i'm just gonna well, not start it off i don't think but she was saying that you know yellow was her favorite color too okay so i get i was like okay so here we go here we go just pay attention <laughs> okay um she said she didn't know mia J. and my antennas went up a little bit on that because i was like She's trying to throw out a message that if she and she said she wanted to get to know her because she know that what she's going through now. She acts like she's a celebrity now. OK, or she's up there with celebrity family and 
members or baby mama. She's up there now, okay? Like she didn't risen, okay, somewhere. So, you know, that stood out to me because when she said that, it made me think about, okay, is she trying to act like she don't know Mia? And then if they, if she did, you know, get to meet her or whatever and they get seen together, then this is her, their excuse that, you know, you know what I'm saying? This is what is, I got from that. So if you mess around and saw them together, she would say that, oh, on that channel, I said I wanted to meet her and I finally got to meet her, you know. So I was like paying that attention because we were, everybody was saying that, you know, she might know her. Okay. Now there are rumors going out. So I'm going to say allegedly about this part. Okay. I'm going to say allegedly about this part. She said, um, people are saying that she dated, um, Yo Gotti's brother. This is what I'm hearing. And she looked like the type that would date Yo Gotti's brother, to be honest. Okay. I'm just going to throw that out there. She looked like the type that would date him. Um, Another thing that stood out more than anything to me, and this is not um, alleged or nothing like that. When she started talking, as she kept talking, it came to mind, you know, it just popped up in my head, Maurice. When they were asking him, like, what are you going to do now? And he was like, franchise, franchise, franchise. That Her interview reminded me of that because... She said herself, I'm here to network. That's what she said she was there to do. And I, that's believable because she's all over the place. She's one, one, from one platform to, to another, to another, to another. And she wasn't talking about Dolph that much. Okay, she wasn't talking about Dolph that much. She answered questions that she wanted to answer. And I noticed some stuff she just ignored. When people asked her about her boyfriend... The one that has this background of taking people, she ignored stuff like that. Now, I didn't watch the whole thing because I just couldn't sit there and listen to her and him, you know, take everything like it was, you know, it wasn't serious. Okay. And um, she was like advertising. She was advertising. She was just like she said, she was networking. And she said that this is something that she wanted to do. She just didn't know how she was going to do it. So, you know, was Dolph her, you know, her way of advertising? Okay, you got to pay all this stuff attention, okay? Um, another thing that was going around, you know, and everybody felt like this. Everybody felt like the news people were not really concerned about Dolph. They were more concerned about the Makitas. Every time the news people would come, you know, any, say anything about the, the Dolph situation, they were talking mainly about the Makitas and helping them advertise. And I found it odd that she said that she was on the news the same day that, you know, she met Dolph. <laughs> and she also said, you know, in a, you know, something, she said, one of her um, lives, she said that when she was talking about the security and Dolph's brother. She was like, they don't know who sent us to talk to him. So that was odd for her to say that, you know, to say they don't know who sent us to come over there to talk to Dolph. So, you know, you know, one of my, even one of my subscribers was saying the same thing. Like they didn't, you know, that was odd for her to say that. But I thought it was odd that she was on the news the same day that she met Dolph. You know, y'all, you know, these things like this is just not coincidental to me, okay? Now, she said she wasn't from Memphis, which my antennas went up again because I was like, where's she from then? Because when I thought about, when she said that, I thought about Nipsey. Now, even though that might not be her um, with a Nipsey, it could be a family member or something, but it's a lot of, you know, they look alike. Huh, and that girl that was took the last picture with Nipsey. So that came, my antennas came up when she said that as well. Um, she also said that she was using the views and the followers to jumpstart off her page. So she had now has a YouTube page, y'all. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess. And she said that she she been one, like I said, she said she been one the platform, but she just didn't know how that she was going to get it. So now 
you know, she has one. Okay. Um, she was also showing stuff that she was selling. She went and got a book talking about she was selling this book on Amazon. So we tried, she was trying to sell this book. It's just something that you can write in and stuff like that, like a little diary book. But she was selling, you know, she was advertising on this, you know, which I'm telling y'all, this don't seem right. The picture don't seem right. She don't seem right. Um... She was talking about she sell books. She was talking about she selling clothes and jewelry. Franchise, franchise, y'all. That's what she said. She was here to network. So she's doing the same thing that the Makitas is doing. Okay? She's trying to, you know, advertise. She's not trying to clear her name. She's trying to advertise, y'all. And then the same time she's still doing that, she called herself throwing out threats to people saying that she is going to... Her, you know, her lawyer is going to start, you know, coming at everybody that's talking about her. Now, I, you can um, you can come at who you want to. But, you know, you're all over the place. And I guess she's talking about her pictures and this and that is all over the place. But you know what? Um, she don't want to put her pictures out there. She's the one sending her stuff to YouTube, to YouTubers. And if you send your stuff to a YouTuber... Then I don't know what what what's wrong with this girl. Other people can use pictures from somebody's YouTube channel, so it's nothing you can do about that, okay? And it's nothing your lawyer can really do about that. And she's saying that you know people is messing up her name, but she's the one that's putting herself out there, not other people. She is. Now she did say that one of her friends sent a picture out or something. And she didn't tell them to, uh, whatever. But that's between her and her friend. She can sue her friend for sending her picture out there. If she, if her picture, if they put her picture out, somebody that's close to her. But she cannot sue bloggers for her pictures out when she's putting more pictures out. You know, while she was on this interview, she was showing more pictures from when she was on the news. She changed clothes, you know, for that evening. To the green dress because that earlier that day, before she went out to eat, she had on another outfit. Because she showed the outfit of where she, when she was on the news. So, y'all, is this girl being rewarded for whatever part she played? You know, I don't know. I really don't. But it seemed like it. It's her turn to franchise. It's a lot of weird stuff going on, y'all. But anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a little update of what this woman's interview was about and she mainly was like she said here to network this is what she's saying now it's her turn to make some money off of Dolph so um maybe that's why she's jumping from page to page and whoever lets her on their channel she's going to be on there it doesn't matter how many subscribers they get <laughs> she is all over the place right now and she's trying to build her channel up so, y'all, you know, a lot of this stuff just seems, I don't know. Poor dog, he should have had better security, y'all. He really should have had better security. And as smart as he was as far as making money, he should have surrounded himself by even smarter security. That's all I can say. Like, it just is it's sad when you think about how all of this went down and nobody seems to care right now you know one of my subscribers came to uh, my channel and they said in the comment section that Mia J is getting ready to make a statement and you know the way it seems is that everybody is crying out for her to say something so this is why she's coming forward or, you know, somebody had, they didn't get her speech together of what she's about to say. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm going to say allegedly. But if this is true that she's about to come forward, you know, people are going to be wondering why now. Because, you know, it's been so long. It's been so long. And it wasn't like that when her brother passed. It wasn't like that. And it makes you wonder, like, why is it like that with somebody you've been with for over 10 years? You know, it just seems as if nobody cares. And um, this is why everybody is upset. 
Same thing with Mo3. It's, it's just, this is why people were upset because everybody's so quiet. And it's just they enjoying the money and they don't care how they got the money. But they're just sitting back, you know, acting like they're celebrities now, the family. And it's just, it's sad. Because a lot of women that come, that's on my page, and this is why I love my channel, they feel like um, if that was their child, could nobody shut them up? It wouldn't matter if they're in the middle of this investigation or not. They would be out here, you know, going hard for their, their child. Just like FBG Duck Mom was, you know, going hard for their child. So, y'all, it's just, you know, it is what it is, okay? But anyway, y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank y'all so much for watching. And have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Peace.